Hello, everybody. Uh, Symphonatic with you with another tips and tricks video. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I thought it would be good to uh, get one of these out there. Uh, so any of you that were like me, you get a new 4000 series graphics card. I just got a 4070 Ti Super, and I was all excited and ready to uh, potentially double my frame rates by enabling something called NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. But when I got into Microsoft Flight Simulator, I noticed it was grayed out. So like if you go to options here, my mine's, mine's turned on now. But many of you, if you come in here and this is grayed out and you can't turn it on, uh, here's a straightforward way of doing this. I'm gonna show you here in this short uh, video here. So the first thing you gotta do, if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you need to uh, actually outside of Microsoft Flight Simulator, so you'll see I'll go here. You wanna type in your search bar, and I just hit my uh, little window key on my keyboard, and I'll bring up, type into search, and just type in graphics settings, just like I did there. You can just type in graphics. You'll notice graphics settings. If you wanna type in the whole thing, you can. And then click on that link. The thing you need to make sure that you have on is this right here. Mine was off, and actually there's been documentation out there for like, hey, this is how you can improve your uh, frame rates within Microsoft Flight Simulator. Tur one of the th tips I've seen out there before is to turn this off. You actually, when you have the 4000 card, you wanna have this turned on. It says, uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, reduce latency and improve performance. You'll need to restart your PC to have your changes take effect. That is important. You will first need outside of Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can see I have it up on my screen, but you'll wanna do this without starting up Microsoft Flight Simulator first. Turn this on and then restart. Be sure, again, restart your computer like it says there for that change to take effect. Okay, now once that's done, and let's say we restarted our computer, we get back in, we load up our screen here, and you go to options. The next thing you wanna make sure of, this is also important, you might still be grayed out here. If this is still grayed out, you wanna make sure that this DirectX version is on DX12 beta, not DX11 like you see there. You wanna have it on DX12 beta. If you're on DX11 and you switch it to DX12, you do need to hit apply and save, exit out of the simulator completely, launch the simulator, and then once you, and I'm, I'm not gonna change it here, but then once you relaunch your simulator, then once you go into graphics, you should be able to turn the NVIDIA DLSS frame generation back to on. And that is it. Okay, now in uh, review, there are three things you wanna do. You wanna turn on your graphic settings. Again, if you go into here, you do graphic settings, make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on, restart your computer. Two, launch into Microsoft Flight Simulator, go to options like you see I'm here, general options, and make sure you turn, make sure it says DirectX 12 beta. If it says DX11, switch it to beta, exit out of Microsoft Flight Simulator, restart simulator, and then Go into your options once again, because you'll come back to your home screen. You just need to go up here to the top, hit options, general options. And at that point, then friends, you should have NVIDIA DLSS frame generation where you can turn it on. And that's it. And uh, you can enjoy up to twice as many frame rates uh, as you had before. Um, there is technology that's built into that and it'll actually make your graphics smoother and, uh, and, and less stutters and all that good stuff. So easy way to make sure you get that enabled and uh, potentially increase your frame rates uh, up to double, uh, if not more, friends. So hopefully you uh, like this video. If you did like the video, please uh, do a thumbs up and do a like and subscribe. And until next time, Sim fans, take care of each other and yourselves. Stay safe and, of course, blue skies. We'll see you soon.